Hello everybody, hello, my name's Eleanor and a great big um, Sage Gateshead welcome from me and all of your friends here at Sage Gateshead to you. We miss you, we miss you so much, we miss making music with you, we miss having fun with you um, and we can't wait until we're all together making music again really, really soon, be that at Sage Gateshead, in your, in your nurseries and schools um, or in um, the lovely buildings that we come and make music with you and your grown-ups. Um, but until then, in these very interesting times, we really hope um, that you will enjoy um, making music with us through these videos um, and with whatever you can find at home. Uh, and we would love to see any pictures, videos, um, anything at all of you guys making music at home. Um, so please do send them in to us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, however you can find us. We would love to see you making music at home as well. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing we always do in our sessions, as you know, is we sing hello to each other. And I'm gonna use my instrument here. Now, does anybody know what my instrument is called. I'm gonna bring it a bit closer and let's count how many strings I have on my instrument. Are you ready? We've got one, two, three. We've got four strings. And this, some of you may have guessed, is my ukulele. I love my ukulele, especially because it's originally from Hawaii. So whenever I play it, it makes me feel like I'm somewhere really warm and lovely which is great. So this is our early morning music. Now that doesn't mean you can only do it in the morning. This is for when you have so much energy, like when you've just woken up after a brilliant night's sleep. Some of the grown-ups that might be harder to remember, but it will happen again. It will, it will happen again. Um, and so you might have loads of energy you would like to burn off and music is a brilliant way to do that. So here are some songs and some, and some games and some things you might like to play at home to help you use up all that energy. Let's get started. So the first thing you need to do at home while I'm playing is to get your hands ready. So can you put one hand out in front of you like this and the other hand on top? So our friend Carol, that some of you might know really well, she likes to call this a hand sandwich. So can you get your hand sandwich and can you put it on top of one knee and then your other one and one knee and then your other one and can you move it really fast from one to the other? And then what I need you to do is move it in time to my playing and that means just at the same speed. So if I get my ukulele, can you keep tapping your knees and it goes from one knee to the other and one knee to the other. Are you ready to sing hello with me? sing hello to Chewbacca if you wanted to sing hello to Chewbacca or anyone else who's your favourite that you might like to sing hello to at home. So I'm going to leave a gap and then we'll all do the clapping together. Okay, are you ready to tap your knees with your hand sandwich? Here we go. Ready, steady and off we go. Hello, hello. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to wake up our brains and get our brains working. And for this, we're going to do some counting. Uh, and I need you to show me one of your hands like this. Can you put it right up to the screen? Fantastic. There's your hand. And we need to count to five all together for this song. So I need you to show me one finger and then two and then three and four and then five. High five. And you might know this song about a fish 
One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. And then we need to use our other hand as well. And can you go six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hi, ten. Pew. Then I let it go again. And we know the rest of the song, I think. So shall we sing for our fish first? And then I'll teach you another one. Up we go. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. Ouch! Which finger did it bite? This little finger on my right. Well done, good counting and good singing. And so I know this song about another animal which you might be able to see just hanging up here behind me. Can anyone tell me? What do I have over here? That's right, it's some bees. Now the sign for bees is if you put your finger and thumb together like this and then can you make it just fly around? And that's the sign for bee. And so we have one, two, three, four, five. Bees come buzzing from the hive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Buzz around and back again. Please tell me, busy bee, why you buzz so busily? And then can you do some peeping? Peep in the hive and see. They're making honey for your tea. Shall we have a go? And you see if you can find any bees in your garden today. And off we go. One, two, Three, four, five. Bees come buzzing from the hive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Buzz around and back again. Please tell me, busy bee, why you buzz so busily? Peep in the hive to see we're making honey for your tea. Well done, everybody. Great counting. Okay, so for this next song, we're gonna play some instruments and make some music. Now these instruments um, can be anything. They can be homemade ones, they can be um, ones you bought from a shop, or they can literally just be a pan and a spoon or anything to make some brilliant noise with. Um, and I have some instruments here. I have got my shaker. Now this is a cachichi from Brazil, and you can shake it like this. You can hold on to the thing. And you can make shakers at home, like maybe some pasta or some rice in an old bottle. Um, maybe ask your grown-ups. Um, that might be a fun thing to do. Um, make some shakers together. Um, so I have a shaker. I also have a tapper. Now this fantastic looking thing was mine when I was a little girl. Um, and this is my drum and I have a beater here and you can play it really quietly or really loudly. And this is my drum, so a pan and a spoon, um, anything that's safe to, to tap and make a good noise with would be fantastic here. So something to tap. And the last one is something to scrape. And so shake, scrape and tap are the three things that you can do to all percussion instruments. And this is my scraper. So this is an agogo and you can scrape it with a beater like this. And so this is my scraper. You can also tap them as well. Fantastic. Um, and I'm gonna play a very, very fun song for you to play along with. So you can find anything you would like to play. And we're gonna start, I'm gonna play my ukulele, with some shaking. So can you find something to shake? And if you don't have any instruments to shake, you can shake your arms or shake your legs or shake yourself. And the words are, we all like to play along in here. We all like to play along in here. We all like to play along, so feel the beat and sing this song. We all like to play along in here. And if you haven't heard it before, it's one of those brilliant tunes that you'll learn um, by the time I finish the first go through. Are you ready? So you can play your instruments however you like for this one. Are we ready? Ready, steady, and off we go. We all like to play along in here. Let's hear you play. We all like
find something to shake. Or you can shake your body, shake anything you like. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Are you ready to shake? Off we go. We all like to shake along in here. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. We all like to shake along in here. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. We all like to shake along. So feel the beat and sing this song. We all like to shake along in here. Oh yeah. Okay. This time, can you find something to scrape? If you need to do it with your hands, you can practice like this. Pretend this is your beater and you can scrape up and down. Scrape and scrape and scrape. Cheese graters are good for this, if you've got one of those at home. Are you ready? Pretend you're in a skiffle band. Are you ready to scrape? Ready, steady, and off we go. We all like to scrape along in here. Scrape, scrape. We all like to scrape along. find something to tap. So you need a beater, it could be a wooden spoon, it could be a bit of a stick you found on one of your walks, anything. You can make a beater from anything and just make sure the thing you're tapping is safe to tap. Are you ready to tap? I'm going to slow it down so we can get some good tapping in here. Here we go. And off we go. We all like to tap along. Whatever instrument you like and play it however you like. I'm gonna suggest some ways. And if you want to get up and dance, please get up and dance. This is such a good song for singing along to, playing along to, and dancing at the same time. Are you ready? We all like to play along. Off we go. We all like to play along. everybody I don't know about you but I'm pretty out of breath after that well done okay everybody this next song we're going to do is about a very special animal and keep a lookout because this animal might be popping up anywhere and can you see it can you see any animals yet is it anywhere to be found <gasps> hello can anyone tell me what kind of animal is this yes that's right if you said rabbit that is right this is our tiny little rabbit friend and i have a song to sing you about a rabbit but first we need to practice being rabbits and doing some hopping so can you show me your rabbit ears like this fantastic and make them flop around and then you need to do some really good hopping like a rabbit are you ready to hop with our rabbit off we go and hoppity 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 hop hoppity 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 hop fantastic now i have a song to sing you about a rabbit but it's not in english it's in French. Do any of you speak any French? I imagine lots of you will speak French better than me. Let me know. Um, this is a song I learned from a musician friend of ours at Sage Gate Said called Marianne, who we worked with a few years ago. And it's about a little rabbit 
who hides in the garden and the rabbit says, look for me, cuckoo, cuckoo. And that's just a fun thing to say, like dooby dooby doo. Um, and then it says, the rabbit eats the cabbage. Mmm, <gasps> do you like cabbage? Do you have a different favourite food? So if you're pretending to be a rabbit, what kind of food would it be you, be, you would be looking for? So I'm going to sing you the song and can you get ready to be the rabbit and do some hiding? Are you ready? So it goes. Un petit lapin est caché dans le jardin. Cherchez-moi, coucou, coucou, lapin a mangé la chou. <gasps> wow, that looked tasty. Did you hide? And then did you pretend to eat a cabbage at the end? Okay, so there might be something else our rabbit can eat. Hmm, let me have a little look. Are you ready? So can you get your ears ready and get them ready to hide around? And we're going to go. Un petit lapin s'est caché dans le jardin. Cherchez-moi, coucou, coucou, lapin a mangé une pompe. And what the, what fruit is this? That's right, it's an apple. Do you like apples? Maybe you could pretend to eat the apple. Shall we have one more? Hmm. Un petit lapin s'est caché dans le jardin. Get ready. Cherchez-moi, coucou, coucou. Lapin a mangé un banane. Do you like bananas? I like bananas. Well done, everybody. Good hopping, good hiding. And then um, what kind of things would you like to find and eat if you were a rabbit hiding in the garden? Well done. Bye-bye now. Thanks, rabbit. See you later. Right, everybody. So now it's time to do some moving around. And for this, um, I'm wondering if you could find something like a scarf. So this is my yellow scarf. Um, you might be able to find something around your house. Your grown-ups might have one. It can be woolly. It can be fluffy. It can be anything you like. Um, so long as you can dance with it um, and maybe have a bit of a tickle in a minute. Um, so this is our scarf. Now I have a very brilliant song to sing for you about this to a tune of another song that you might know um, called The Grand Old Duke of York. Now this song um, was taught to me by the fantastic Laura Connolly. Now Laura Connolly is a brilliant local uh, musician and clogger and she runs some amazing sessions south of Tyne um, called Little and Loud. Um, have a look um, for Little and Loud and some fantastic music making uh, opportunities there with Laura. So can you get your scarves ready? And then we'll sing it together. And the first bit goes. Here's a light and floaty scarf. It flutters in the breeze. And when you wave it round your nose, it makes you want to sneeze. Ah, We'll wave it in the air, we'll wave it on the ground, and when we wave it halfway up, we'll twirl it round and round. How was that? Was that really fun? And there's something else you can do with this song as well. Um, this song is really, really good for tickling. So I'm going to go and get Ted so we can do the tickling part of the song together. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so... I found Ted. And Ted, who have you brought with you as well? Optimus Prime and Tiger. We're going we're gonna to try a tickling version of the song. Okay. So, Ted, I need you to stand here and do your best not to laugh when I tickle you. Do you think you can do it? <laughs> so here's my scarf. I'm going to go. Here's a light and floaty scarf. It flutters in the breeze. And when you wave it around your nose, it makes you want to sneeze and chew. We'll tickle you under here. We'll tickle you under there. We'll tickle your nose. We'll tickle your toes. They are here. They can tickle my teeth. You tickle your teeth? Ah, we'll tickle you everywhere. We'll tickle you under here. We'll tickle you under there. 
Will it tickle your nose? Will it tickle your toes and your teeth? Oh, you've gone off. <laughs> we'll tickle you everywhere. Well done, Ted. Thank you very much. Ah. And well done, Rabbit. Tickle, 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 and choo! <laughs> well done. How did you do on your tickle challenge? Did you laugh just like Ted and Tiger did? Or did you manage to keep it straight faced? Let us know. Thanks, Ted. All right, well done. After all of that, it's now time for you to do some more moving around. And so this one is called, Can You Dance With Me? And it's about you moving your body in lots of different ways. And you can come up with your own ideas as well, but I'll give you some suggestions. Um, and there's a really good bit. So I ask a question. I say like, can you clap your hands? And then you need to go, oh yes, we can. Like that straight after me. So it goes, can you clap your hands? Oh yes, we can. Can you stamp your feet? Oh yes, we can. Can you clap your hands? Oh yes, we can. Can you stamp your feet? Oh yes, we can. Okay, and so after everything I ask you to do, you can scratch out, oh yes, we can, while doing it. All right, so get ready for that. And then the chorus is, can you wave your arms up in the air? Can you wiggle around like you just don't care? Can you dance with me? You can do anything. Can you dance with me? Etc. And that's what you do. So listen out for me telling you what to do while I'm playing the ukulele. Are you ready? So can you stand up? Can you shake everything out? Get ready, get ready, get ready. Show me your best moves. Okay, so it goes. Can you really clap your hands first? Are ready? Steady. And off we go. Can you clap your hands? sit down after that. Grown-ups, I hope you were doing it too. Kids, if you want to take any videos or pictures of your grown-ups joining into this video, we would really, really love to see your grown-ups at home making music and dancing and joining in with you. Maybe you could send one in with you both in. How good would that be? All right. Well done, everyone. Some excellent singing, dancing, playing. It's now time for us to just relax for a couple of minutes because even those of us with the most energy in the world still need to just sit down and have a little relax. Isn't that right, grown-ups? Yes. So this one is my favourite song about the sunshine and you might know it, your grown-ups will almost definitely know it and this is a nice one for lying down, maybe lying on your back, 
if the sun is shining or just pretend the sun is shining. And you can have a cuddle, maybe with whoever is there, if you'd like a really lovely cuddle with them, or you can cuddle your favorite friend, um, whoever that might be, your favorite animal, whatever you've got. And this is You Are My Sunshine. Are you ready? Off we go. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. And then, the other night, dear, while I lay sleeping, I dreamt I held you. lovely cuddle and a chill out there well done thank you for being with us today um, and spending your time with us singing and dancing and playing instruments um, and generally just having a good time we really hope you've had as much fun as we have um, we miss you so much and we can't wait to see you again but until then if you have any pictures or videos or anything you'd be happy to share with us um, on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram please do send them in we would love to see them um, until then, it's time for us to sing our goodbye songs. You can give me a great big wave. You can find that hand sandwich again and tap your knees in time to my playing. Um, but it's time for us to say goodbye in our usual way. It's time for us to say goodbye. It's time for us to say much for coming everyone grown-ups get yourself a cuppa and we hope to see you really soon thanks so much bye bye